So I think cities are the physical space that can bring us together and allow us to appreciate our diversity and also find those human characteristics that bring us together. I think cities are facing a lot of challenges and if we look specifically at the architecture, I think there's a dichotomy between civic buildings or iconic buildings and sort of background buildings. Our cities aren't always made by the architects who are uh, commissioned to do buildings, but we have a lot of other agents working in cities. Uh, we have private developers, sometimes the public sector, sometimes there are old abandoned buildings. So there are a lot of uh, aspects to the architecture that contribute to our city um, and each of those needs a different type of treatment. Another aspect, if I have to mention something about cities and the built environment, I think increasingly infrastructure is making our cities. Infrastructure, whether it's roads or public transportation, whether it has to do with recycling of residual materials, any t energy, all of those things uh, that are in the infrastructure sector have a huge impact on cities. In the past, we didn't see them, but more and more in the future, we are. And I think as we use more and more technology, we will see them even more. And there could be a friction between infrastructure and architecture. So my hope is that we would see it as part of the same continuum and treat our infrastructure as really important projects to be part of the city fabric. Architecture can be a fantastic tool for sustainability, and it must be. Global warming will not be remediated in any sense of the word unless architecture is sustainable. I would say that with regard to the Pritzker Prize, we see an evolution in the prize, and perhaps when it was started more than 40 years ago, we had many iconic buildings as examples of the built work of the winners. But if we look more recently, 2004, Glenn Merkett, one of his great values is sustainability. The same thing with Fry Otto, his idea of touch the earth lightly. We can also look at Alejandro Aravena, the half a house, the social role of architecture, which clearly has a sustainability component. Maybe this is more community sustainability, cultural sustainability, or even a Shigeruban and his architecture for disaster relief. I think all the architects that the jury selects today have that component. I hear the discussion about what is sustainable and how it can be extended. Um, and I'm hopeful in the future it will be even more relevant. I think what we see in terms of space in general is more hybridization of spaces. We don't have an office building, a school, a house. Now all our activities are somehow happening in the same place. And I think when we think about public space in the city, we also have to remember that public space needs to be able to enable many types of behaviors and embrace many types of public. We can't have just a playground for children, uh, an area for resting, another area for activity. I think we have to see public space as multiple activities, um, close by or compatible activities, activities that change throughout the course of the day. And maybe the underlying quality is freedom to decide. We can't uh, control people's behaviors. We have to enable it, enable ideas of community. And we also can't predict what the future will hold. But having natural spaces, open spaces within a city, it can certainly make it much more humane and hopefully the people will be happier.